how you doing? Um, it's Tech Suicide here, and um, today I'm going to be showing you with another tutorial on how to make a glossy logo, um, a shiny, just you know, anything for um, YouTube vlog blogs um, to your websites. You know, it's very useful. So let's get started. We're going to go up here to File um, New. And um, we're going to set the width, uh, you know, 400, and the height, like, 300, so we get something like this. Um, then we can grab our rounded rectangular tool, um, and we can just, I'm going to click and drag, and I'm going to make this look kind of symmetrical, so I think right there is actually pretty good. So, now that we have this... Um, I'm going to double click the layer that we just created and we're going to make a gradient overlay. Okay, gradient overlay. So we're going to click this and um, it has it checked marked. Okay, so we're going to select the gradient. So, and it just select this big box right here and um, it'll bring you to the gradient editor. And now you can see how there's four nodes right here. For this tutorial, don't worry about the top two nodes, okay? So we're just going to click the bottom left, and for this tutorial, I'm going to do red, and then for the bottom right, I'm going to do yellow. Now, it should go to dark to lighter, just so you know. And you can play around with this middle node if you want, but I'm just going to leave it right there for tutorial pur purposes. Okay, so let's get started. <coughs> well, let's go further. <laughs> All right. So for style, um, it's at linear right now, but I'm going to change it to radial. And you can see what it did, you know. It, it moves it all to the center, which is pretty cool. It gives it a cool effect. And um, I'm going to change my angle to around 180 and right about there. Okay, so we can also add an inner glow. So let's, with this one selected for inner glow, um, we're going to select this little box right here to change the color and um, I'm going to change it to red just because it gives it a little round look to it and um, as you can see it's not appearing we we can't see it what the hell well that's because the blend mode is set to screen we're going to have to select it as multiply now when we ch play around with the choke play around with the size now see how it gives it the little rounder shape so there we go I'm actually gonna add an outer glow too and um, we're gonna select the same box to change the color and I'm gonna change it to green and um, once again it's not appearing there so we can't see it so we have to go to blend mode again and go to multiply now when we play with our spread and our size we'll get something to like what we want. Okay, so wonderful. Now we have our basic outline of our emblem or logo, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to actually, right now, we're going to change the foreground color to white real quick. Um, I'm going to grab, we're going to grab our ellipse tool and we're going to create little highlights that give the shape a little bit more rounder feeling, shinier, glossier feeling. And um, we can just click and drag little circles in here. And um, I'm actually going to go up here. And the one that should be selected already defaultly should be the furthest one on the left. I'm just going to go one more to the right. And um, this is going to enable us, enable us to select m more than one of those little circles. So then I'm just going to go right about there. Um, there there and I think one more right there okay so once we have that um, we can actually double click our shape layer 2 and um, we can go to color overlay with this selected or we don't have to so let's just leave it like that I mean it's not a big deal then we can go to um, inner glow um, now the changing box. Um, I think I'm going to change it 
to red. Um, and um, the blend mode, um, let's just see if this worked. Okay, so it doesn't work, so we have to go to multiply. And that's as simple as it gets on to tell if you need to set it to multiply or to screen or if you need to play around and check all of them. Okay, just try it, you know. So we're going to go to choke. And um, we're going to make it around just like this. Actually, I'm going to bring the choke back down. And um, there we go. So now we have a, you know, a gloss feel. You know, it looks pretty, pretty glossy. Maybe not so close in right now, but when we zoom out and when it's a little, you'll actually get a glossy feel. Um, we're going to add some text. So... Um, let's just click right here and I'm going to select, I'm going to type tech. Okay. Now you can grab your um, little um, arrow key up here and you can just use your arrow keys on your keyboard to move this into the middle. Okay, so now it's about where I want. With our text layer selected, we can double click and um, select color overlay. And it's going to give us a red, like, we're going to actually lose it in the middle because it's red. But that's okay. We're going to um, add an, um, an inner glow. And um, I'm going to make it to black. And once again, I use the, this little box to change the colors. And um, see, the choke doesn't work. So that means I have to set it to multiply. So there we go. And um, once you play around with the choke... And um, the size, we can select OK. And then there we go. We have our final product. If we zoom out a little bit, that's what we get. And it looks pretty good. You know, it's, um, it's not bad at all. Um, and you can play around with each and every little thing that I showed you um, to make it your own. Um, I guess the final thing would to... Um, go to layer and flat image and then save it to a save it as a JPEG and there you go so um, we're done um, thank you again um, for watching please subscribe I'm trying to get some subscribers I'm new um, comment message me if you have any problems at all message right back within you know 24 hours I get on every day so um Yep, thank you.